Now what daddy go for? Yeah. Wait, they can't talk. Tackle. Get tackle. Get tackle, tackle, tackle. And that is start uh, cutting mm -hmm. and chopping onion. I, I need to get the chair. Wait, I need to get the chair, mommy. What inside the taco? Excuse me. Uh, there are. No, no, wait, wait, a mild. Chili, 10 soft tacos, 1 spice mix, 1 salsa mix topping, mix 10 tacos okay. for 1 box. Like this, this is the spice, Yeah. and this is the sauce, green sauce. Yum, yum! And this is the kit taco, there are 10 layers in there, 10, 10 slices. Ah! Okay, ah. wait, wait, can you go? There's a couple right here. No, just, they're still over there. No, no, I'm going to be back. No, daddy needs to take that over there. No, not yet. And have the rest of the onion. Wait, 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 I can't wait. Mommy, this is good. Oh, yeah. But I want to watch. Yeah, but daddy needs to touch. Oh, yeah. To record that first. Okay? So we know the process. Bring your chair here, quick, come on. You have a video, come here. Come here. No, you don't Letting the onions brown, I want the onions brown. I will add the 500 grams of mint and let that brown. After that's brown, I will add the powder which comes with the kit. Normally, Uni Joe Okila does this, but I've been recruited because she's actually got a bit of a cough in the cold. So bear with me, please. I'm not the expert. And the long pauses should be filled with the sound of country music. Please note that I don't want to add a lot of oil. We'll one teaspoon of one tablespoon of oil in the pan. I don't want to add any more as the mince will contain a lot of fat. And the mince today was brought to you by courtesy of the IGA, the local IGA. Which is the Independent Growth Association of Western Australia. Which is really a subsidiary of Metcalf Cash. Who own it. Franchise in Australia. And they normally have supermarkets in regional, rural and regional areas, but in the city as well. And they're open longer hours, trading hours than normal supermarkets. Our local one's owned by an Indian. And it's pretty reasonable on food prices. Nick quality is good, comes from foodies. And most of the staff have been there for, for years, so it's a very friendly place. Unlike the local poles and bullies. A few years ago we never bought any meat from there, but the quality wasn't good. But the last, last year it's changed substantially for the better. So this is 500 grams of their premium grade mix. Not like mix when I was a kid, it's full of breadcrumbs. So okay, left it there with me, I had the mix in the freezer for a little while. So I wasn't planning to cook this tonight, I was planning to do something simple. So you want to just pause it for a second while it's going. Just call the show, have a chat with Jeff. Okay, so carrying on browning on, still browning the mince, which takes a while on an electric, old-fashioned old 1970s electric stove. 
original when the house was built here in Ferndale, all those years ago. Typical winter warmer. Next time we'll make something really nice, like a spicy casserole. As you can see, the mince doesn't have much fat in it, but it is coming out. Now I'll add the, the spice mix, which came with uh, our old El Paso taco mix. And as per their instructions, I'll add half a cup of water. And now stir and mix and let it simmer. Of course, if you like the normal Indonesian, you'll add lots of more, lot more chili or sambal to make it really superior. And we'll simmer this now until it is all the powder is all the way through. I'll let it simmer until it thickens up, hopefully. This is me cooking, a mere male. It'd be nice if a wife was cooking, but unfortunately she's not, it's me. In the meantime, I'll get the cheese out of the fridge. Going on with the meal, we also have IGA foodies, tomatoes, which I will chop and dice in a minute. We have baby cos, baby cos lettuce, did not come from IGA, and we have cheese all ready to go. with a Mexican salsa sauce and it's part of a kit, which is, we'll show you later. And the chicky little throw-in will add a dash of this. Mini Joe Wo doesn't know, doesn't does it? Turn it down and let it simmer for a little while. So the meat cooks all the way through, and we can get some of that onion flavour and chilli flavour through the meat. <coughs> I'm just going to move, sorry, in the meantime, I'll transportation turkey video, and I'll prepare some tomato to go with the cheese. Where's the boss when you need her? Hiding and playing with my assistant chef. <coughs> Put 
probably the wrong way to cut things, but nice for a bit of chunky tomato. We're going to be old school, spice it. Nothing like tomatoes which have been frozen and brought back to life and dried them up and use gas. Not the best tasting tomatoes at the moment. So tomatoes ready. Now we're going to play with the cost lettuce. Very dangerous. Never let a kilo near a knife. Normally end up in cut fingers. I'm not gonna chop it up, I'm just gonna pull some lettuce off and wash it, and I'll let the, the wife and kids break it up when they make their meal. I'd wash something a bit different to the normal cheese. I've also got some feta, and I'll chop some pepper up. So we're gonna have some feta cheese as a choice. Again, bought from IGA. Give people a bit of choice what they want to have. Normal cheese or feta. Kids might eat the feta, of course. The boy for a moment, ladies and gentlemen, finished product. And this is how you make, me, one. make one for me. Yeah. The one packet shell, that's a bit small. The wife would like a bigger one than that. Yeah, that's it, the bigger one. One lot of meat. And because someone's got a bit of a cold at the moment, we'll need two scoops of meat with lots of hamburger, as the daughter calls it. There we go. Come back around this side for a drop of sauce, because the wife likes a bit of sauce. Followed by a bit of salad. I'm going to use my hands. Sorry, chefs. Fingers only. We are in Australia. Followed by a bit of tomato. The more the merrier. It adds to the taste and it's good for your iron. Which, if you've got a cold, you need lots of iron. Followed by lots of cheese. Then we just hope the boss can roll it all up into one. And that is called the Keeler Family Taco. Now all the boss has to do is eat it. And review it for me. In the meantime, I'll make the door one with no hamburger. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go start it. It's too small, Daddy. <coughs> the wrap, I mean. Yeah. Yummy. The lettuce is nice. Tomato is nice. Means nice. Mixed with cheese. Nice. Mm. Terima kasih sudah menonton. Thank you for watching the chef cooking of taco mini kit. I've made my way here about stove all day. What appreciation do I get? Where's my little girl? I'm probably maybe out without the onion in there. See you in my next video. Bye bye. God bless you all. Thank you for always supporting my channel. All of you. You've got to do about three videos or what? Bye-bye. Yum. Nice. Yes.
Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Actually appreciates what I've done. Probably not. Her name is Louise. Bye bye. Have a good one, please, Lou. You want sauce? How is it, Lou? Mm. Can can I see the inside? That's what's in uh, her filling, like a uh, cheese only and. Means and a little bit of sauce. Yes, Lou? Okay. Bon appetit. Enjoy it. Bye-bye. Uh.